we are discussing about the, uh, the partition coefficient, which tells most of the uh, fate of contentions in phases. The space problem is very, very important. We have a very simple and straightforward uh, phase gas and water and soil. And well, most of the containers actually. Uh, here we talk about uh, 203. But uh, most of the uh, contaminant uh, fate problems occur all of the three phases, actually. Well, sometimes uh, people mostly uh, focus on one uh, phase containment problem, uh, gas phase problem. Uh, think about the air pollution. Most of the chemical engineers uh, working uh, at the environmental science and engineering uh, they are usually do uh, gas air pollution because they are uh, actually uh, make, uh, making the uh, catalyst and many uh, evaluate, uh, very you know, uh, sophisticated uh, chemical uh, products. What are uh, most of the uh, civil engineers who is working uh, in the field of uh, environmental engineering, they are usually do water, uh, wastewater problem, deal with uh, this problem. Because a uh, civil engineer can uh, design and uh, cons construct the, uh, uh, these facilities. Because these are very, very you know, important uh, for the uh, humankind's life. And uh, I uh, also <coughs> want to ask some more people material science guys, they, are, they also want to uh, do some more uh, catalytic uh, reaction uh, you know, solution with the habits of uh, air pollution and soil. Uh, well, actually, uh, geochemistry and uh, geology uh, in KAIST, actually, there's no geology department. Do you know why? Because most of the people here, professors, even uh, president, uh, all days think geology is not you know, new, you know, knowledge. Christ and most of the uh, uh, high tech uh, oriented uh, universities in Korea, including Bostech, they don't have uh, geology. And also, Civil engineering, they may think of civil engineering is, is not the uh, high tech knowledge. Think about the post tech, no civil engineering. And uh, what about GIST? No civil engineering. Right. Well, anyway, so uh, geology is kind of you know, underestimated. So most of the people, uh, before uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen uh, Stiblock's, you know, uh, Jurassic Park. Nobody think a uh, geologist uh, is doing something. You know, there are uh, two uh, actually geologists. Uh, you know, husband is, uh, you know, for the uh, ancient animal, and the wife is actually, you know, uh, is working on the uh, uh, ancient plants, actually. So uh, the people has very strong interest after the uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, except that um, geologists just kind of all days, you know, history and uh, uh, you know, but uh, the groundwater and soil contamination uh, problem. Well, as I relate to these two contaminant uh, phenomena, you guys can see. You can see the contaminated uh, river water, and you guys can see contaminated water. You know. Well, nowadays you guys cannot see uh, the water contamination easily. All days, uh, when I was an you know, uh, elementary school boy, uh, when we, every time we went uh, to the uh, 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 uh to the uh, labor side, where I can see uh, the dead fish, you know, floating around from the, around the uh, you know lake side actually, and the labor side. 
and also you can see the uh, very blue green uh, oil you know band actually floating around the uh, river. It was kind of 15 years ago, 20 years ago, well, even 30 years ago. Actually. My age is around uh, so. Not long time ago, Korea was very, very, you know, uh, has full, full environmental condition. You can see that actually. The gas contamination, even you can feel it, you know. If you walk through the uh, photochemical smog area, well, you cannot easily breathe. Mexico City and even, you know, uh, such cool uh, country cities. You can see the uh, blue or yellow, sh yellowish uh, gas contamination. What about the soil contamination, groundwater contamination? Can you see that? If you can see that, you are actually uh, your personal place is maybe around the Venus or you know Uranus, uh, something like that, or you know what's that? Where is the place uh, at which Superman was born? Clinton, Clinton, is it Clinton? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, the problem is you U.S. cannot see the, uh, the contaminated groundwater or contaminated soil. Although uh, you think um, uh, most of the, uh, the these contaminated sites in the United States, uh, those are mostly uh, the places arsenals, uh, the place where the where they may uh, nuclear weapon. So uh, they, you know, pour uh, radioactive containers, tons of uh, radioactive containers, and tons of you know, organic chemicals, uh, tons of inorganic chemicals, uh, which can, uh, you know, make the people die uh, in the middle of the mountain. The problem is, as I read up, Korean, uh, you know, underground uh, situation, as I already told, if you are just to dig the ground, you can actually uh, find the rocks, actually, right? So it can prevent the, uh, the re, uh, you know, the transfer of the contaminated groundwater to the United States. Uh, the aquifer really, really developed well. So one place contaminated by these contaminants, uh, well, the contaminants can go maybe 10 kilometer, 100 kilometer, one year later. The problem is they don't know. Well, the uh, contaminants go. So how they solve those, you know, contaminant problem? Now, at that time, the geologists think that is the kind of, you know, uh, chance. Uh, actually, they can take over uh, some kind of new technology. Groundwater and soil lamination, this is the field of ours. So they actually develop geochemistry, they develop uh, transport phenomena, which were uh, usually taught in chemical engineering. They adopt it and they teach it uh, their you know, uh, department. So most of the uh, lamination uh, you know, knowledge and lamentation theories uh, was from the uh, Jewish department. This is very, very interesting, right? So uh, you guys never ever ignore and look down uh, on him, uh, you know, the geologists. They are very great guys. Never ever, you know, don't do that. <laughs> So uh, these are different uh, remediation problems. But uh, if you think about the, uh, the problems uh, nowadays, uh, the contamination problem is not uh, focused on just one uh, phase or second phase, mostly multi-phase. This is very, very important. So uh, here, uh, we have talked about a whole bunch of you know, uh, partitioning between gas and water, water, the soil, and gas soil, but ultimately we need to deal with a whole multi-phase contamination problem. So uh, if you know the partitioning uh, coefficient, well, we can calculate uh, the concentration and the amount of the contaminants 
uh, in each phase. This is very, very important because as an environmental engineer, you want to treat those contaminants, right? Once you can find those chemicals, you need to you need to you know check out, and then you need to put some uh, your lamination solution, and then start uh, to clean the contaminated place. This is very very important. So think about that. If you see, if you can see. Uh, this contaminant, this you know, uh, uh, soil is contaminated by PCB, and then what you should do is uh, just uh, pour some some you know uh, reactant or uh, oxidant to degrade uh, this chemical. You will do that. If you uh, don't have microns, you definitely don't know how much amount of chemicals uh, needed for cleaning this uh, this place. But now you guys know what kind of contaminants and what kind of catalyst and what kind of things, how much amount is needed, right? Because you guys know how much contaminant uh, stay in soil and stay in groundwater. This is very, very important. The difference between you and uh, the workers uh, at the uh, wastewater treatment plant most of the uh, uh, wastewater uh, you know, uh, treatment plant workers, uh, they graduated high school, and then they just you know uh, fin at least they finish you know second grade of uh, you know single college, and they have job. It is kind of uh, seven or nine level of uh, you know uh, officers. Uh, well, they actually don't know. But they know, uh, by experience, they know how much amount of chemicals needed, you know, uh, such kind of problem. Wow, I can see the bubbles, I can see the uh, organism is dying and floating, and I need to uh, pour 10 grams of disinfectant by experience. The first time you have job, and you can be a boss of them, and then you may be uh, threatened by their experience because you don't know what to do. But if you just check the, uh, uh, your knowledge, uh, you know, uh, running from here, well, you can see the, uh, the contaminant you know, phenomena, and then you set up hypothesis, and then you calculate. And you can have the solution, how much amount is needed. But for them, they have their own experience. Those are differences. You should know. All right, so the partition coefficient, if you know this one, you know uh, the concentration stay in organic phase and water phase. As I already talked, um, this is very, very important. <laughs> this is my fish. This is that. This is salmon. Uh, I, I uh, took it from the uh, market. Uh, at the market, there is some, um, you know, it's uh, say polar salmon. I just want to know how much uh, amount or PCB uh, contaminate uh, this fish. Uh, what uh, I want to do is, um, well, mostly the concentration amount is uh, gram per uh, milligram or microgram per gram. So this is uh, amount of PCB and this is amount of salmon fresh, right? So. What you should do is, uh, you just want to, you know, put this salmon at the uh, mixer, which is spray, and, you know, uh, shred it. And then, take some sample and put it uh, at the uh, solvent here. Because PCB is non-polar, and it cannot be dissolved in water, so you need to add organic solvent, which is non-polar. So non-polar chemical 
cavity dissolved in non polar solvent, and solar uh, chemical cavity dissolves uh, polar solvent. Well, just to make a uh, crystal face uh, think about that. Sodium chloride salt, is it polar? It's polar. So it can be easily dissolved in water. Can you, uh, if you put the uh, uh, salt in sesame oil, can you see sesame oil dissolve? If you want to have nice, you know, Sankyapsar dish, you want to put some uh, salt in the sesame oil, right? But you never ever uh, have seen the, uh, the salt dissolve in sesame oil, because sesame oil is not polar, and uh, sodium chloride is polar, and it cannot be dissolved. So, uh, if we want to dissolve this one, uh, we definitely need to have non-polar solvent, not the polar solvent, just like uh, water. So, uh, and then put some the sample into the solvent and set it and mix it up. Then uh, this is the fresh of the uh, fish. And then that uh, fish is fresh. The dissonance can be you know, dissolved. Right? So let's zoom, zoom up uh, this, this one. And then here, organic solvent, you know, you just. So organic solvent actually. Uh, make some you know, combination, uh, let's say bonding, and take it out, detach uh, from this uh, polychlorinated bipanel from the fish, you know, uh, fresh actual, right? So you can have uh, full uh, dissolution, uh, detachment of this PCB uh, from the fish uh, fresh. And also, uh, if you add more water here, it is a little bit weird, you know, uh, becoming more weird experiment. But pour the water and then put it the uh, fish fresh contaminated with this PCB. Uh, what happens is most of the PCB can be dissolved in solution. But very small amount of PCB, maybe 10 to minus 20 or 100 uh, picogram, can be dissolved. Well, as I will talk, uh, gave the, uh, you guys uh, the sample, if I just, uh, uh, this is very nice cup of coffee, and if I, uh, you know, uh, pour some uh, diesel fuel, this one, uh, this coffee, uh, you guys know that diesel fuel cannot be easily dissolved. But uh, although I just uh, remove whole uh, diesel fuel, if I give it to you, do you want to drink it? Before drink it, you already know you can smell something, right? So, where will the smell come from? Well, that means very small amount of diesel fuel already dissolved in the water. So you already know that, <coughs> right? Well, let's say this is a new cup. I uh, ever never you know touch it you know, with my lips, and I did uh, the same thing, uh, and then I just. Uh, give it to uh, take you, and he never ever want to drink it. Because in his brain, he already know very small amount of the uh, uh, you know, diesel fuel is already dissolved. And he worried about his you know, health, actually. Although, uh, just like the king, the professor gave him a nice cup of coffee, he doesn't want to drink it. Right? So, um, all right, so as a way of let's just uh, skip this fish part. Let's say this is optimal, which is uh, representative of non, -so uh, non polar solvent, and then here water, and you just uh, this is sewage, micro sewage, and let's just say what well, I just got. Uh, inject one microliter of PCB here. So what happens is the PCB uh, particle can be dispersed here. 
The PCB has very number, and most of the PCB actually stay octanal phase. But some, because we are mixing, uh, vigorously, you know, uh, shaking it, this one, and some part actually going into the water part, right? So they, they're still very small amount can stay here. Maybe 99.9999% uh, stay here. And here, maybe 0 0.000, 000 uh, 1 percent stay here. So we want to measure the concentration each side. C, PCB, water, and C, PCB, optimal. And then uh, make it a ratio uh, using this two. So C, PCB, optimal. C, PCB, water. Why do we care about, uh, so much care about this low concentration of, you know, chemical. Well, this is just, just you know, 0.0001%. Because, take it just a hate to drink, you know, that coffee. He knows that small amount can cause serious health problem. PCB can, you know, change your gene system. So, uh, although you cannot be dead, uh, you cannot be, uh, you cannot get killed by the uh, PCB. Uh, it just uh, flow through uh, your kids, and uh, your kids make a little bit clear. So that is the problem. You, you are so the toxicologist and environmental scientist, engineer, they actually really want to know the concentration here because this con concentration can. Right? And also the partition, you know, partition. And here, if the K value uh, K value is high, that means the contaminants is nonpolar, which means it cannot be easily dissolved in water. Instead, it can be dissolved easily dissolved in you know nonpolar solvent. This is very, very important. Uh, if the K value is small, that means this value is high, the denominator is high, that means it is polar, and it can be easily dissolved in water. So this uh, optimal water, uh, this coefficient is very, very important. Here, as I already talked, um, in this case, uh, if the K value is high, in this case, the chemical is nonpolar, or uh, we, we, we can say uh, lipophilic, that means because light bulb, liquid is very nonpolar. So we can say uh, the chemical is lipophilic. So think about that. Um, This is the very basic of the partition coefficient. And you guys can uh, think about the, this is uh, two phase uh, you know, a relationship. Which one is? One is uh, non-polar liquid and uh, here polar liquid. So this cannot be mixed well, right? So two phase problem, actually. But uh, sometimes you, Think about the uh, uh, gas and water phase relationship. In this case, how is low definitely can tell you uh, the fate of the contaminants. And sometimes here, man, sometimes here, uh, you also think about the uh, uh, 
solid and uh, liquid problem. Think about that. Uh, these are all water, and uh, you are you are using some activated uh, carbon uh, for in your uh, water pur purification system. Well, if you just uh, uh, disintegrate the water uh, purification system, you can see uh, membrane, you can see chapels, you can see even you know many uh, filter system. Here, this is activated carbon, and the contaminated water actually flow through in this direction. And the contaminants uh, can easily dis uh, easily stay uh, attached on the surface of this activated carbon. So if we take one activated carbon here, activated carbon actually uh, can have uh, capacity to attract the contaminants. So the contaminants actually can dissolve on this surface. So this is the reason why you guys want to exchange this uh, filter cartridge every you know, month. Because this has capacity, limited capacity. So uh, the capacity is uh, you know, already exceeded. Well, you cannot expect good absorption capacity uh, for the uh, contaminants. Right? So uh, if you don't change uh, the filter, you are actually drinking more and more concentrated containment section. This is very, very good. And then you can calculate, uh, the using the partition, partition coefficient, you can calculate the concentration of containments. to uh, talk much more focus on the lipoplasty. Uh, to simulate lipids, uh, fats in viola, a pharmacologist a long time ago selected a model compound, octanol, because they want to simulate the uh, human uh, fat and human protein so that they can, uh, you know, make, uh, they want to know which chemical and which, uh, how amount can effectively uh, affect on human body. That is very, very important. So they want to do some simulation, and for the human pets, uh, they are using uh, octanol here. Does the partition coefficient uh, best described as octanol water partition coefficient? Well, I think I'm, I already uh, explained the octanol water uh, partition coefficient here. Um, and also, uh, it was uh, explained as symbol uh, KOW, which means K octanol water. So the concentration of some chemical octanol part and some chemical water part. So uh, this is the same, you know, uh, partition coefficient uh, from this experiment. So which means if the uh, octanol phase concentration is high, which means high KOW value, this means this is highly, highly lipophilic, lipophilic. And if the uh, uh, value is small, this means it is polar. So it is easily dissolved in water because this concentration as denominator is higher value. Uh, so most of the uh, chemicals we have strong interest in is in the range of 10 to 2 and 10 to 7 range, which is highly uh, non-polar. So most of the chemical uh, we are talking about in organic, or, you know, uh, organic you know, uh, chemistry side is very non-polar part. It is uh, convenient to use a common logarithm of KOW because uh, you, you, if you just put it uh, log 10 and 
you can have just a two seven like this. And then uh, there is very empirical uh, equation here, uh, as most of the chemists you know, develop. Uh, KOW is related to water solubility. Uh, they uh, just put it log KOW equals minus 0 0.86 log C W saturation plus 0 0.32. Uh, well, most of the uh, water uh, the solubility is in water right? But if you want to use it, uh, another one, well, you can you know, exchange that. So, uh, you know, uh, if you just check the CRC handbook, as I already told, you can have 100 or 200 pages of KOW values. If you know this value and you know the concentration of uh, contaminants in water, so this is very, very interesting. That's it. So you know how much amount can be dissolved in water. So you guys can now talk as a toxicologist. Well, I just drink uh, my professor, uh, you know, here, a nice cup of coffee. Can it kill me? Or what's that? Well, uh, I just uh, gave a uh, very, uh, I cannot say interesting. Well, I went to the United States around 1993, and I had that uh, good friend of mine, a uh, five, six friend of mine, but uh, three of them actually uh, dealing with a uh, very similar chemical. I, uh, I, uh, I was dealing with a very toxic chemical, tetrachloroacetylene. Uh, tetra means chlor, uh, chlor means chlorine, and acetylene. You guys know acetylene has, has two double bond. And tetra means chlor. This is very, uh, you know, uh, usual solvent uh, when our uh, ancestor, not ancestor, our grandfather and our father actually used this one for dry cleaning. Uh, well, 10 years ago in Rotary, Korea, well, they are using this one. The problem is this is carcinogen. Well, it is very interesting, you know. In the United States, there are many cases uh, reported people contaminated uh, with this chemical actually uh, you know, have the uh, uh, cancel. But uh, Korea, uh, not much. Uh, so I can say uh, the God actually uh, take, is taking care of Korean people better than the, uh, you know, the citizens of the uh, you know, United States or you know, France. I think. Well, uh, another uh, trend actually dealing with carbon tetrachloride. Carbon, carbon tetrachloride. Tetra means chloride. She's actually dealing with this. And the other one is dealing with. Hexachloroethane. This is ethane, right? Hexane is six, right? So six chlorine. Uh, these are uh, alkene, right? Alkene. And this is alkene. And this is this is what? This so this is also alkene, right? Alkene. I, uh, I was uh, at the Texas and uh, the girl uh, was at the uh, uh, Missouri, Tennessee, Tennessee, and this guy is at the uh, uh, Washington, University of Washington. Uh, now these, are, these two guys are in heaven, actually. Um, we actually want to know the reaction mechanism of this chemical when we use chemical reductants. So it can be easily dissolved, it can be easily removed of this chemical, and we can find the easily, you know, uh, if you just take out one chlorine here, you have trichloroacid, right? 
And if you just uh, um, remove one more, you can have dichroacylic. And finally, you can have iodine The problem is, as I already told, current is just like fire, right? So if you just remove a fire, what well, you, you think, you may think um, these are much more safer and much more, you know, uh, not uh, toxic. The problem is, one chlorine, bichloride, is the most you know, toxic chemical. This is just a, a first degree chemical. So if you just take it, uh, break it, and uh, you can be diagnosed, di di uh, the doctor can find you some cancer in your system in a week. This is very, very strong chemical. And uh, uh, this is also very, you know, uh, very uh, toxic chemicals. And uh, this one uh, also, this one actually used as a fire retardant. Uh, all days, you can find it at the uh, you know, fire retardant uh, in the house. Well, anyway, this one has uh, stomach cancer. And this one causes uh, leukemia. So these two guys uh, actually get, uh, got back to Korea and uh, were dead or passed away uh, after getting, three years later after getting back and two years later getting back. Leukemia and stomach cancer. I, uh, I was uh, very uh, picked out at that time because I did uh, some experiments when I was you know, a PhD student, and I have used 99% of uh, you know, chemical, pure chemical, and I uh, used this by, I prepared it, I made a sample like this. I just uh, put some uh, chemical uh, reductant here, and then I spike uh, maybe 0 point microliter uh, using micro syringe into the sample. Because I need to uh, keep the uh, anaerobic condition, I most of the uh, preparation and experiment uh, were conducted in the anaerobic chamber. Have you ever uh, seen the, uh, the chamber? Uh, some you know nice you know, dressing uh, white dressing guy uh, in front of the uh, chamber and pour their arm into the right. Yeah. So uh, uh, that is kind of uh, one meter one meter, one meter tile of the uh, box, growth box, and it is very, very, you know, inconvenient, actually. And uh, inside, I actually uh, prepared the, uh, the uh, sample using micro -sewage. The problem is, I always wear the uh, glove, and uh, uh, also, uh, the growth box itself has glove, and it is very difficult and uh, not convenient. Sometimes I uh, when I mistreat the uh, syringe, the syringe needle actually, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, penetrate my uh, skin, actually. I did it several times. Um, at that time, I really didn't have any idea. I really didn't have any idea. So that means at least 0 0.00 microliter of pure uh, carcinogen is actually injected in my system. Wow. I, after getting back to uh, Korea, I uh, actually I didn't meet them, but I uh, heard them just passed away. One, leukemia. The other one, actually, you know, stomach cancer. I really don't know. Leukemia is very related to the uh, chemical compounds, you know. And this one, stomach cancer, well, she is actually, uh, she, she was workaholic, so stress can cause, make her uh, you know, that. But uh, I cannot actually just to detach my idea that the, uh, this chemical can cause her you know, stomach cancer. So I just, uh, uh, when, when I just heard uh, that, uh, you know, news, bad news, I uh, think about, what about me? Am I okay? 
it is kind of, you know, it is just like the, uh, <coughs> you are the, the doctor at the hospital, and you just uh, drop by some, uh, you know, uh, uh, emergency room, and uh, one patient is breathing, and you need to go there and do some treatment. You did it without, you know, uh, taking gloves and uh, maybe uh, in your, uh, before, you know, going there, you are using uh, something, you know, you just want to uh, cut your uh, long, your know, nail and you have, you, you did some, you know, uh, mistake and uh, uh, your skin actually uh, torn a little bit. But you just uh, don't remember that and you did the treatment uh, the bleeding patient, and it turned out to be the bleeding patient has HIV virus. Now, now, what do you think about this? Uh, can you, you know, overcome such kind of situation? Because I did it right. Because I am doing right thing, so I can. Well, I I can die. You know. I can die with glory. Can you do that? No way. You know. If I were a doctor, I hate myself and I hate that patient and I may go there and I kill them. I kill them, you know. Why did you do that to me? Like that. Before starting that, uh, I uh, have uh, many learnings, you know, risk assessment. So I can calculate my, uh, you know, death rate. I mean, uh, the, that kind of probability in estimation started from Harvard uh, Medical School and the School of Public uh, Safety. They are actually uh, estimate uh, the probability of death when you smoke and when you take an airplane and when you drive. Well, you guys can see such kind of, you know, estimation data uh, at the uh, newspaper. So, you guys know uh, tobacco smoking and taking, uh, you know, airplane. Which one is higher risk? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, smoking is just like the, uh, if you smoke uh, a cigarette per day, and you can be that uh, one uh, per uh, ten thousand. <coughs> that is kind of you know. But the uh, taking a uh, uh, airplane is much safer. Uh, it is much more safer than the uh, driving actually. So there are many uh, complex equation method, and I just uh, uh, do some estimation using equation. Uh, I got uh, some probability estimation data. Uh, my death rate caused by this chemical, actually. That there, uh, this partition you know, uh, equation uh, can be used. And this partition coefficient can be used. And most of the partition coefficient, because uh, the probability uh, estimation part include uh, such kind of big part, I have used a whole bunch of partition equation. Uh, well, my death rate was around the uh, uh, 50,000, I mean uh, 1 per 50,000. That means uh, I am much more safe uh, than uh, smoking, actually. So what about these guys? I really don't know uh, what kind of uh, mistake uh, they took you know, during the experiment. But uh, it was actually uh, eight or ten years ago I uh, did my estimation, actually. But uh, still, I cannot find any malignant you know, tumor uh, in my body system. Well, I uh, still believe the power of science. You know. Well, the estimation actually can give me kind of peace. If I don't have such kind of estimation procedure, Calculation. Maybe I picked up. I uh, visited many hospital every you know day, or every time I picked out. Right. But now I know 
I am actually, uh, you know, safe. Sometimes I smoke, but uh, they cannot, you know, uh, that is much higher risk, actually. So what about the uh, uh, biter attack? Uh, it is much more, uh, you know, uh, toxic, actually. So uh, my recommendation, my, what I'm talking about here is the partition coefficient in this calculation is very, very useful thing. You know. It can be used for the design of recommendation, and also it can be used for your death rate, actually. That is very, very important. Hey, I'm very serious. <laughs> well, you know. Well, anyway. So, uh, and also I always talk about the, uh, my student, um, be protected. That is very, very important. You know, uh, why, uh, uh, you know, uh, drinking driving is uh, very dangerous? Because you guys know, don't know what you should do, actually. So that is very, very dangerous. Although you are in danger, if you are well protected, as a rate of your death rate actually decreases. But, you know, you're drunk, you're not sober. Well, I cannot, you know, guarantee your safety. So this is very, very important. Whatever it is, when you prepare the chemicals and when you do some, you know, uh, recreation, be protected. Very important. Right. One more thing, uh, uh, here, very interesting estimation tool is uh, pi value calculation. Uh, if you know KOW value of a given compound, it's possible to calculate KOW value of the related compound by adding these pi values. Uh, I just want to give you uh, one simple example here. Here, trichloroethylene. As we already have talked, bipanol is this is uh, benzene, and uh, well, if you just put it uh, OH, this is uh, panol. But if you just uh, rip these two aromatic ring, we call it a panel, two panel, bipanol, and then uh, as as we here. Uh, trichloroethylene, right? So trichloro means uh, three chlorine here. Let's say like this. This one's KOW is 6.19. Trichloroethylene. Uh, so what about if we just uh, put one more chlorine here? What about uh, KOW? of this new chemical. Uh, let's say this is tetra, right? So tetra bipinin. So if you already uh, know here, the value of chlorine is 0 0.71, right? So just add 0 0.71, you can have uh, the KOW value of the, uh, this uh, tetra bipinin which is uh, 6.9, actually. And there is another uh, example. Well, here, uh, there is two uh, structure, DDT, and the other one is methoxychlor. Methoxychlor is uh, a little bit different. If you just uh, remove two chlorines here, and here CH3O, and uh, to CH three O, you can have methoxychlor. These two actually are very, uh, uh, you know, well known pesticide. And as I already talked, uh, our you know, dad and grandfather use uh, just expel the rice on your head. Uh, anyway, uh, here uh, this DDT KW value is five point eight seven, right? So how do you calculate this one? This is very easy. At first time, using uh, using this DDT structure, 
just to take out CL. So just the minus uh, 2CL uh, value, and then plus these two CH3O, and you can actually have new KOW. Did you get that? So, just to simplify it, and there are two CL, right? So, uh, methyl uh here, CH3O, CH3O. So, for this chemical compound, at first time, just to remove these two. Remove these two values, just a CL, two CL value, and then press two CH3O. And you can have uh, KOW, Methodical. Right? We can take one. Alright, uh, well, I think I'm, uh, I can finish all, uh, all things. Well, I'm not going to teach you uh, water air transfer part because this is um, a little bit, you know, uh, weird and big stuff. So, I can finish uh, the partition between solid and water and gas and water part. Right. These are any questions and any comments on the lecture material today? No? Okay, great.